Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Brick Maniacs, today Dan is with me and he has an all new SDKFZ 251. Sonder Kraftsfurzeug, 251. Yes, sounded perfect to my, <laughs> my yeah. perfect German, yeah, that's my high school German. I, I apologize to the Germans who I, I butchered their language. Right, so okay, uh, in front of us here you have an array of different SDKFZs. Right, in English, SDKFZ 251 because lack of better better term. Um, we do have, it's a new 251 kit, also of D. Um, it has three different versions, so it's a three, three in one. one. And I don't have a, the base model built because it's just the standard half track with the machine gun in the front replacing, which is this case, this is the uh, 251 slash 10, which right. is the command version of the basic troops carrier half track. Right. And the only difference being it actually has, this is a pack 36, 37 millimeter anti-tank gun mm -hmm. replacing the front MG42. Um, so every, you know, if you'd have a unit, you'd have a platoon or a, you know, a bigger unit, and the command vehicle would be this one. So if they run into the need of having an anti-tank gun, some enemy resistance, that's, that's the ticket. You got your, your anti-tank gun. The original ones, when they first built these, the early ones had the full shield from the uh, Pac-36. They mm -hmm. took that off because it, became, it was so conspicuous. It was tall. Could, hey, we could tell which one the commander's in right. by just hey, aim for the biggest one. Uh, so they changed it. They, they cut down the shield. The, uh, it's more, it looks more like the other uh, 251 shield. Sure. This version is the uh, 251 forward slash 9. And that would be the Stummel, what they call it in German. It's the stump. Right. Um, that refers to this short barrel um, 75 millimeter howitzer. So this is like infantry fire support, mobile infantry. So your Panzer Grenadiers or your mobile infantry, armored infantry would have be accompanied in battle with one of these bad boys. Mm -hmm. uh, and I should point out, you, I mean, you can rebuild it. You, you get all the pieces to build this. Um, it has little trays in there that you can put brick arms, um, you know, artillery shells, the, the mm -hmm. regular size artillery shells. Um, makes a nice little play feature, and you can actually sort of put the, you can pose the, the guys loading the shell into the chamber, and that kind of thing, the breach. Right. So, um, all of these, there's three in one. Yeah, yeah. So, like you're saying, there are, there are three different kits. So, you can build this one, this one, or there is a third model that is it's just the, the half track. It's model. the box cover. It's, right. you know, if, you, if you're curious what the third one is, it's, it's the basic yes. one. Do all three have opening? The, the rear doors open on all three. Obviously, there's this awesome sticker pack that is included with this as well. Right? Yeah, and, and Slam kind of went to went to town. We we put a sort of a early three three tone color. So mm -hmm. they in 1943 onwards, they came out with this Dunkel Gelb uh, uh, color to replace the old field gray that that all the um, vehicles were made in. Right. And in the field, they would spray paint them and do whatever to make them a little bit more camouflage. So this is a typical camouflage, started in like 1943 right. in Kursk, but you'll see it right through to the end of the war. Um, so that's not, these, these, these tan vehicles, they're not just, they're not desert vehicles, they're actually No, that's European just, that's theater. the color, that's the color. It's a little, maybe a little hair darker, sure. but we don't have, we can't really simulate that color. But every vehicle that rolled off the assembly line, uh, after a certain point in 1943, a certain you know, new contracts were made for, for, for vehicle production. They all came with this color. Sure. Um, and then it'd be field, mod field modified. Right. So we do have some printed elements. We do have the printed little headlights, uh, headlight covers. Um, everything else you see that looks like it's printed is actually a sticker. It's a quite an extensive sticker pack. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's actually two sheets. So you have, because you have to have multiple stickers, multiple configurations, right. three different configurations, a lot of different surfaces to cover. Right. And are you, are you able to build these uh, without the stickers? Absolutely. Yeah. You can rebuild it. You could you could change some of the colors if you want to ambush right. ambush camouflage. You can you can do that. Some yourself. people prefer just kind of a more plain vehicle. Someday, if we have a surplus of time, we may actually make some alternative sticker packs for some yeah. of these these vehicles because there are different camouflages that still work great on the, on the tan base. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so you also have one add-on pack that goes with this base. It's model. a separate add-on pack. Yes. Um, you have the base model, and here I have it shown without the sticker pack. You can still put the, the camouflage stickers on the, this is the ambulance. You'd probably have to do a little bit of alteration 
Um, I, don't, you know, I don't actually think you have to do much if there's any alteration. Um, but you basically, you could put that sticker pack on and then rebuild it with the sticker pack that comes with the Crankin Panzer Wagon add-on pack, Panzerwagen. which is, yeah. Um, in this case, I don't, have, I don't have the base stickers on. I just left it, left it in that, that, that dunkel gelb color. Mm -hmm. um, you obviously have, it's a red crosses everywhere. It's an ambulance. Split one for the door. Um, you do get enough pieces to make, oh. <laughs> my arm would have been Gone long forever. enough to reach that, yeah, <laughs> under the abyss. You have enough pieces to build a cover for the whole unit, but I, I for demonstration purposes, I, I built it with a different shape. Sure. So if you look at the instructions, it'll be different than this, but then you can come back to the video and see, hey, how did Dan make yeah. it that way? So, so they would sometimes have it uh, like this, so they can see Oh, sometimes, out. yep, and sometimes you'd have this on here, sometimes sure. you just have it wide open on top, and you could, since you have all the pieces from the 251, you could build it any way you want. Ah. Um, so, just I gotta pull, pull all the rest of the stuff off, so you can see that they're actually inside, there's room for two stretchers. Yep. Um, they're, the actual, Actual uh, ambulance, or they, they could have up to four stretchers. I've never seen one with four stretchers actually in it because you can't get guys side, you put the guys side by side and then stack them on top of each other. It's, that's pretty grim. Right. So uh, we, we, we supplied um, two stretchers to come with it. Mm -hmm. um, you could stack them off to the side if you, if you wanted to, to be a little bit more, uh, have room for more medics sure. and stuff inside of there. Um, and speaking of a medic. So yeah, uh, also going with this, we do have a standalone medic available. Yes. Uh, that we just came out with. Um, it does not come with the. Right, it doesn't come with the kit, um, but this lets anybody, get, if they just want the medic, some people are just mini figure collectors, so. Right. Yeah. So we've made, a, we've made significantly more medics than we have after X2, so right. they, they should be around. They should last for at least through the weekend, I would hope. I hope so. <laughs> I hope not, I don't know. Yeah. I hope everyone who wants one gets one. And by the way, we do sell these little hex stands separately. Yes. This is a Brick Arms hex stand. Um, it does not come, the, the medic does not come with a hex stand, nor does this guy, but the sticker here. So this sticker uh, does come with this uh, sticker pack here with yep. that, on this add-on pack. Uh, and this is just on a, just, uh, we grabbed a minifigure and just it's as a- It's a British person. infantry guy, yeah. So there, if, you want, if you want a guy- right, that's, a, that's, a, that's a World War I American, I think. It's been, he's been in the field a long time waiting for attention. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is that a, that's, not, that's British. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it just, it was, I, I, I grabbed it off of Slam's desk. Okay. <laughs> it's just showing off that there is a sticker pack. That you you do get a, a, a bandage sticker that comes with the ambulance. Um, it's kind of cool. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's maybe something we'll, we'll have more casualty stickers sure. later. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, cool. Anything else we want to go over? No, I think that's it. Oh, you do get the spare tire. Ooh, <laughs> only, it it comes with the ambulance. There, I, for whatever reason, when I saw the uh, when I was re doing the research for these, the, the Crank and Panzer wagon, a lot of them had spare tires. They'd have a lot more spare stuff stashed on mm. them. Some had actually water tanks. I did uh -huh. not include it on here, so the, it just seemed to be kind of a rare thing, but a, an extra like fresh water tank, oh, so wow. yeah. you know, they could bring water out Very to the cool. casualties. Very cool. Um, awesome. That is the all-new SDKFC 251 designed by Dan Siskind. Again, it's a three-in-one kit here uh, with one of the kits showing off screen here. We'll switch to that quick. Very cool. And there's an add-on pack for that three-in-one kit that you can change it into this medic variant here. Yep. The, the Kranken wagon, would you Kranken call it? Kranken wagon. <laughs> it's an <laughs> armored ambulance. Cool. Armored sick car. <laughs> Probably said with a significantly different accent than what I just said. Yeah, yeah, Kranken Panzer wagon. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, Swiss accent. I think we're going to end this before it gets any worse. No, with that, that is the, that is the episode of Brick Meaning TV. Thank you very much for watching.